I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care 'cause I am on my way up, and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. There are those little ones go off to the lake. I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way, and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care 'cause I am on my way up and stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Welcome to Hawks Take Flight. I'm Candace, and I'm Jeff. And uh, about a year ago, we sold our house and moved into a 42-foot fifth wheel. So now we travel around with our kids, and this is our channel. So welcome you to our... season two. Welcome. It, it's now been an official year since we sold our house. So we're going to talk to you guys about some new changes that we're going to have, as well as um, talk about the last year and what we've learned. So there has definitely been some hard times, um, a lot of good times. Um, we've seen a lot, been a lot of places, um, had a lot of mistakes made, uh, made a lot of mistakes. Like these, getting our RV stuck in the sand, falling off the, or blowing a tire, and then we hit the soft blowing shoulder where our house looked like it was going to fall over, got stuck. Um, trying to go over a cow grate and almost hitting the stabilizers off. That was a little stressful. Uh, what else have we done? Oh, he backed into, uh, you took your truck and backed into the fifth wheel when you were trying to hook it up. What else did we do? We uh, smashed the back end of my uh, rig, trying to get in and out of a gas station that's too small. Oh yeah, I tore the light off. That was fun. Um, you also dropped the fifth wheel on the top of the truck, which apparently happens to everybody. At least yep. once. Yep. Um, what else do we do? Oh, my car. We didn't talk about this one, but and we didn't show you guys video either. But I went and parked my van right in front of the door of the fifth wheel, and as we were pulling out the slides, the slide ended up talk. right on the. I can talk. You can talk. Um, <laughs> the slot, the slide hit my van. Thankfully, it was only like that much, like pushing it, but so there wasn't too bad of damage but it was like this much no it wasn't it was literally that much the slide is bent this much <laughs> um what other mistakes do we have i don't know a lot of fun stories i miscarried on the road um the pooping kids had rotavirus virus, which is yeah. yeah pooping and puking in the cars um just lots of fun putting the water filter in upside down so that we didn't have any water and we had no idea why that was going on there's been a lot of fun stuff but a lot of a lot of good this happened but a lot of good things too yeah yep. where did we visit we've been to mount south rushmore dakota. in south dakota 
Um, we've been to Zion's National Park in southern we Utah. We did a lot of Utah. We went to North, uh, sorry, New Mexico, Carlsbad. Caves and saw a bunch of different Indian reservation or ruins. Chaco, the Pueblo Indians in Colorado. We went to Death Valley in California. Yeah. That was that was one of our favorites. Yeah, Death Valley was definitely a fave. You could be in the sandy, sandy beach in the hot, sandy beach, and then up in the mountain with the snow. And yeah. that was fun driving my truck in the snow. <laughs> we spent a couple of weeks at Huntington Beach, right next to the ocean. I uh, went to Disneyland, Disneyland. California Adventure. Um, Legoland, not fun. Oh, we, we went up and one. spent a couple weeks at Henry's Lake up in Idaho. Oh yeah, that was, um, a, that was one of our first, first first adventures. Yeah, I saw the Twin Falls in Idaho as well. So we've had a, we've been a lot of places. Still been here in the West. We went to Lake Powell. Did we say? Yeah, we did go to Lake Powell for almost we, two two and a half weeks. A couple of times I've left I've left the, my wife and kids in the rig to fend for themselves while I came back to Utah to work. Yes. So, um, let's see. What are mammoth some... site. Uh, yeah, that we yeah, the mammoth at the Mount Rushmore. Um, so let's talk about some learning opportunities that we had or learning experiences that we had. Um, it's definitely an living, moving from 3,200 square feet to, um, less than 400 square feet is an experience and it takes a lot of um, patience patience in fact organization organization is another big key and thankfully with some of the new renovations that we have done and we're going to show you guys those soon soon that's going to help us out and feeling better and more organized because when you live in the small space and things don't have a home it creates chaos. a lot of chaos and stress. And your patience isn't as much as it should be. No. So then everybody's at each other's throats. I mean, we have seven people living in our RV. Seven so, people in this small space. Well, there's five small kids. Enough to drive around with. Yeah. So, um, what about our relationship? Let's talk about that. Have we gotten closer or further distanced? I think physically we've gotten closer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's gotten closer. Um, um, I think as far as a family, we we have definitely gotten closer. We we definitely um, are uh, learning how to cope with certain things. You know, stressful times a little bit easier or better. We're we're still working on that. Uh, one thing we talk about as a family is trying to be a teamwork and trying to help each other out. So a lot of times, if so trying to be a teamwork, we're our. <laughs> trying to be a team and have teamwork to help each other out so like if you can tell what somebody's in a bad mood we just try and help each other out because we don't have a space for everyone to go to to be alone or just to get away so we're constantly saying hey let's help each other out let's work hey these are delish these are annie's organic cheese puffs if you haven't had them they're they're really nice I feel like when we move now, like when we are down to like almost a science, like we fi finally figured out things, we know how to make the rig level, that's a lot easier and a little less stressful. Um, I'm not always panicked about like where we're gonna boondock and where we're gonna find, cause I just know we're gonna find some place, no matter what, we'll find a place. Um, definitely don't like sitting in the RV park. When we came back, even when we were coming back to stay there for the winter time, we felt like we were in prison, like we were incarcerated because it was like we had to stay put and we couldn't get out and it, um, being stuck inside of a rig during winter was absolutely not fun at all and we've decided that we will not do that again. So we always kind of said that we were going to see how the first year went and see if we really liked it and then we would adjust our life to do it. So it's been a year and we're ready to make that adjustment. Do you want to give them the big announcement of what we're doing? So um, I'm going to um, so start travel nursing. And uh, we'll see where adventures go. So travel nursing, basically, instead of working at one hospital, I'm going to move around to different hospitals. 13-week um, assignments, go from one hospital to another hospital of the next 13 weeks. And, you know, um, so we're going to be all over the country. Yeah, so this is great. So now we don't, I don't have to feel like we're a tetherball stuck to Salt Lake and we can only go, you know, in this vicinity around because we have to come back. Um, in between so now I'm like really excited so we can um, go like anywhere 
Um, so we're getting ready to choose our first destination. We haven't quite gotten that yet. We're still finalizing some of the paperwork um, with the travel um, agency. We chose Atlas uh, Meds, Ma Atlas Medstaff. Is that right? Atlas Medstaff. We'll you know, you know, through the journey how things go and what we do and you know hiccups because there always is some along the way and fun times and challenges and uh, yeah where we where we're at you know. yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun so few things do you miss anything about living in a house I don't he doesn't miss anything. I don't miss anything either. I don't miss a house. I don't miss the big space about it. Honestly, sometimes I look into my rig and every time that we reopen the slides back up, I'm like, man, this is so huge. I don't know why I feel that way. It's the same space I've always had, but I definitely don't miss a house. I don't miss the space. Um, I don't miss having my own land because I have land that's huge everywhere. I mean, I would say the only thing that I'm sad about is not being able to grow my own garden. Yeah, like our own that. food and stuff. I agree with that. We had a little bit of a, a garden where we were at before. Yeah, we were trying to set up an orchard back there and we planted like 32 raspberry bushes and stuff all along. We had over half an acre. And um, I will say that's the only thing that I miss. But other than that, I don't miss anything about having a house. And I actually look forward to traveling around. I, I don't think we've burned out at all. As I said, this is the Hawks Take Flight. And we are a traveling family of seven. We have five kids, four girls, one boy. Uh, their ages are range from 12 months to nine years old. And uh, so welcome to our channel. If you're new, comment down below, let us know you're here. And um, we look forward to sharing with you guys our new adventures. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as well. My home. Changed. Baby, since you, you came around So take, 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 take a chance on us Take a chance on us